Good morning, guys. It is 6.51 in the morning. This is the earliest I've gotten up in a long time. And I uh, went to bed around 10 last night. It is now Sunday. We got a lot of ice and snow yesterday and a terrible storm. And that I was supposed to work a double yesterday. They ended up closing the restaurant not even four hours after we opened. So it was pretty bad. It still looked pretty bad outside. It's dark, so you guys can't see much, but... Um, cool. Yeah, we got like another five inches of snow. Probably like... Well, we had some of it melt yesterday, which was nice because we were getting some rain for a bit. Cause it was just like barely 33 degrees. And on the verge of like freezing. And then everything was just turning to ice because the way the atmosphere was layered at that point... So like here is warm air and then below a certain point it's cold air. So the rain was falling in the warm part of the atmosphere and then as soon as it hit the bottom part or where ground level is basically, it just all started to freeze because it was colder. Um, so then everything was turning to ice. But I'm getting ready to make some breakfast. Um, I'm gonna go to the store and pick up ooh, some orange juice. Um, get some fast acting car carbs in me. I'm also gonna make some eggs and ooh, a bagel, some easy carbs. I don't want to mess with I'm making breakfast hash browns this morning. Um, today's I'm changing up my split. Today's a now chest and back day instead of just chest. That lighting looks pretty cool. Digging that. Uh, but. Yeah, I'm gonna get to cooking. I'll catch you guys in a few. All right, guys. So I'm out in the car, getting ready to leave for the gym. It's like 20 degrees outside. There's ice everywhere and snow. But yeah, I get to the gym to train. I'm trying to get something done like an hour because I have to work at like 10.45 or 11. And uh, yeah, my belly's full. I'm getting really sleepy right now. So I'm gonna see you guys a little bit later. What is up guys? I'm home from work. I've been home for like a half an hour. It's one o'clock in the morning and I'm absolutely drained. I was there. For 15 hours. Took a half an hour break because I was ex exhausted, winded. I did a birthday today, which is exciting. And I was really good at it because I can get my voice really loud. Um, I don't know if you guys ever really heard that voice, but I almost forgot I was vlogging today and I got back and I was like, oh, my camera lens cover is off my camera, which means I took it my camera without the lens and I remember my camera is my car and I brought it up I'm like I gotta finish off the vlog um so yeah I'm gonna do a little rant not too much just because I'm kind of feeling ranty today I was held over not really held over because I was scheduled for a double to begin with just wasn't that pleasant but I'm not gonna talk about that um I am chewing right now, so I do apologize, but I'm not really worried about it right now. Okay, so my face is nice and greasy. I'm going to take a shower before I go to bed. Workout went really well today, so that was a plus. Chest and back, super well, kind of reflecting on what happened today, what I learned, some things that I got better at at work, what I messed up on. Um, yeah. So I really like to work out. This is kind of like a diary to end the day, I guess. I might start doing that. Daily diary uploads or whatever. Um, workout went really well. I was super happy about my progress with that. I did chest and back, which is a different kind of hit for me. Because normally I do a pole day, which is back, biceps. And like I work rear delts almost every workout because when you're working chest, you're working shoulders. you got to warm up your shoulders. When you're working back, you're obviously working shoulders. So you got to warm up your back. Any rear delts following that. Um, had a great workout. Um, did some bench, did some guillotine bench, which again is like this bar coming. But I don't think I've ever explained it. So, a guillotine bench, if you ever think of a guillotine, it's basically like when 
your head gets cut off by a giant plate, okay? Falls in your head, you get cut off. Guillotine bench is the bar comes to your chest, and when that does that, here your elbows want to be flared out. Normally you bench with your shoulders back, but you can still bench with your shoulders back here. You get more effect of this. But normally you bench with your shoulders back about a 45 degree angle and you push upwards because too much strain on your arms and your shoulders going like this can cause some serious damage. I felt it in the past. But normally you want to bench shoulders back just like this. Terrible way to explain it, but that way you're not using too much shoulder and with your scapula retracted, you can pull or push more with your chest. You can see my chest flexing just like that. So you just want to push like that and not like this. But with a guillotine bench, you can keep your shoulders flexed back where your scapula is retracted. Elbows flare out and it works your upper chest. You can kind of see how it activates here and follow suit. Just like that. You can't really see it that well because there's obviously no weight and it's my arms are facing gravity or down. Gravity's going down for other reasons, but it works your upper chest. So I hit that and my chest is sore right in the area where I want it to be, which my upper chest is starting to develop that shelf, which you can see here, just right here a little bit. But I want to develop like across like here where this strip is kind of upper chest, but not like up, up, not super upper chest. So I did the guillotine press flat bench for three or four by 10 to 12 at about 95 pounds, 100 pounds. So I haven't had a super strong chest in a really long time, but I'm not trying to hurt myself trying to go heavy. Uh, plus I'm training for hypertrophy to build muscle, not just build brute strength. So the hypertrophy, hypertrophy does that or helps do that. So I did that and it did really well. Then I supersetted that with, or actually giant did that, which is three supersets basically, or three different exercises. So I did bench, a sitting press, and then a lap pull down with not just the regular bar, but they have these this machines lap pull down. You can either turn you they have handles. You can pull it down like this. You can pull it down like this. You can pull it down like this to hit your rhomboids and uh, contract your back a little bit tighter, especially in your mid back. I know this is probably getting gross, but sorry. Um, and it helps to do that. So. Ooh, the pump look just went away. <laughs> um, then I went to work. I had a giant breakfast. You guys saw that already. And at work, I was super diligent about not forgetting salads, something I had struggled with in the past. I haven't talked to you about it a few times. And I even put a couple days ago, or a couple shifts ago or whatever, do not for, or don't forget salads on the main screen. Like on a computer back there they have on the wall. And I look at it like every 25 minutes, don't forget salads, don't forget salads, don't forget salads. And it reminds me, and it works for me, and they're like, good for you for taking that step and doing that. And it helps me a lot. But I forgot a salad today, and it just pissed me off. Because we were getting slammed, I was working with another guy, and uh, we were just kind of running through things. We got everything except the cold stuff. So basically, a salad, LTO for a burger, or for a few burgers, and pickles. But he went back and got the LTO because they're missing that. And the pickles were just kind of, they're, they're supposed to go with the burgers, obviously. Uh, it's not like the little pickle slices, like a long, it's like a pickle spear, basically. And I looked, I looked, grabbed a styrofoam box because they're still there. And I like, opened it up. I was like, fuck, the pickles are still in there. And that pissed me off. So they are almost completely three things in one order. And that, I was livid about that. And then... Um, I took that receipt and I put a tally mark on the do not forget salads and I stuck the receipt I taped it to that sign it says do not forget salads and I'm just like that's gonna be a daily reminder and I I think I initialed it I didn't initial it uh, but I initialed every bag that ever went out for the receipt because there's little receipts on the bag that have check mark like little spots for checks where you can put like dots or something or draw through it if you want to just straight line if you know you have everything I went through and checked everything off. I put little dashes next to the stuff as I was putting it in the bag. Hi, buddy. Um, <laughs> and uh, making sure everything was going in there. And towards the end of the night, we were getting a quick rush. I had about six orders. I was by myself, running back and forth, taking the orders, putting stuff together, taking up to cash out and get people going, get the guests out of the restaurant. 
um, and home, heading home to enjoy their meals. And I had one order that just threw me through a loop. They pushed it to me. They were missing all the sides. They were doing some stuff. And I'm not going to get too far into it because I don't want people at work to watch this and get pissed off at me for whatever reason. Um, but I just fell out of it. Like, I just was drained. I was exhausted. I'm just making excuses right now. But I was just like, I hadn't eaten anything literally all day. No bread, no nothing. Um, I had breakfast this morning, and that was the last thing I had, and that was before my workout. So I, I had basically already burnt all those calories off, and that was like 1,500. And I just got home, and we had an extra sweet potato, so I took that, microwaved it here. And uh, that's been the last thing I ate, and that was about 20 minutes ago. But I was just like going through a loop, and they, they're, I was doing some research recently. And it's rather interesting. Um, it's like a month ago or so, maybe a little bit longer. And I was doing research on like psychology of willpower, and not just that, but like mental acuity, and it drastically decreases. This is why like you want to study in twenty minute bursts, and then take five to ten fifty or five to ten minute breaks, because at a certain point in time, um, your let's say this is I'm gonna draw something here. say this line if you guys can see that is baseline that's like where you normally are at when you study for too long you do this so let's say um, this is an hour actually let's say that's 20 minutes 25 so the line that's straight that goes straight across is 25 minutes and then that's right here and then after 25 minutes you start to go into decrease so do you want to take a break for a little bit and just do whatever and then come back to studying and you're gonna be back up at your original which is how you want to study and you can't do that at work obviously because it just wouldn't work out no pun intended work 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 <laughs> um, would not work out take my belts off but with something like that, over time, since you're obviously, your mental acuity just decreases over time, especially after no, having no food and just being busy and then boredom and there's other things set in. You start thinking about family and all this other stuff. You have a whole lot of factors going into it. It just drops off, especially towards the end of the day, towards the end of a work day, whatever you're doing. So psychologically, it makes sense why it kind of fell apart for me. But at the same time, I don't like to make excuses and call bullshit on shit that's, like, explainable. And I just got, I think I just got lazy or something. And uh, I don't like that. I don't like admitting that, but I think that's what happened. And I don't really, I didn't really realize that until I started evaluating it right now. Um, yeah, that just was a, a day for me. It really pissed me off, especially towards the end of the day. It's just not good. And I don't get pissed off easily. Like, if I get pissed off, I get quiet. And I was always, I was I was quiet at work today just because I have a lot of stuff in my mind with grandma and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. So. Woo. Good day. It was a good day, though. I liked it. Got a little bit, of, got outside for a little bit today. It was freezing cold. I think the leather night's like negative 10. Um, wind chill maybe negative 15, 20. Um. But I got out during the day a little bit, which is nice. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. Thanks for watching, guys. If you made it to this point, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.